Hey friends and welcome back. Many of you were asking me regarding VIT Triple E exam. Let's talk about that. तुम चलना खूब जाने वाला भी चालू होता है कि VIT Triple E exam क्या है आने ये जब आप देखों कौन-कौन से subject आए आने exam सा pattern का सा है. So today I'm going to talk about what is VIT Triple E exam, which are main subjects we have to focus on, and how will be the exam pattern. Let's begin with today's video. So VIT University is every year conducting VIT triple E exam and this exam is valid for only VIT University. They have four campuses VIT Vellore, VIT Chennai, VIT Andhra Pradesh or Amravati and VIT Bhopal. Jo bachche JE ke liye pad rahe hai, they can give this exam. You don't have to uh, do study differently. You can carry your same syllabus, same exam papers for this exam as well. Uh, also, there is two books available for this particular exam. One is VIT Triple E for 2022. Just do directly search on Google. Disha Publication had, I guess, published for uh, this year. And you have to check out uh, around 20 question, 20 previous year questions they have kept in a single book. You have to just go and to Google and you type there. I'll, I'll, I'll add one photo here. Similarly, one another book is there. Uh, that book is useful for Bits Pilani, VIT, and MIT. So blue color book is there. I will add that details as well. You just check it here. Apart from this, in this exam, we will have uh, uh, subjects like physics, chemistry, maths, English, and aptitude. Exam time would be 2.5 hours, and there is no negative marking for this particular exam. After doing analysis of previous year question paper, we can find out. Uh, in 2021, uh, many of questions they are from memory based questions uh, from 2015 to 2019 because 2020 was exam exam. So, for that um, analysis, if we are considering, then there was 50% moderate question, 30% very easy question, and 10% only difficult questions. So, those are doing study for JE exam, they can easily crack this exam. There is a no such uh, difficulty. Then, suppose I am considering the class 12th CBSE syllabus. Out of that, uh, uh, the physics would be 77%, maths would be 68%, and chemistry is 50%. So based upon, uh, like, out of this, how many questions they have in, in this, they will have certain uh, questions assigned for physics, chemistry, maths, then your uh, aptitude, and English. Then, if I'm talking about particularly maths, so in case of maths, if I'm talking about topic-wise questions, then uh, algebra based upon algebra topic 60% question came calculus 38.5% uh, so I'm telling this uh, percentage based upon the previous uh, year questions from 2015 to 2019 so based upon that I made this uh, percentage and you can focus on those areas so algebra 60% questions they have been asked calculus 38.5% then uh, coordinate geometry 14.5% uh, then trigonometry 4.5%, vector on vector topic they have asked 14% questions. So from year 20, uh, 2015 to 2019, uh, after analysis I made this number. So in case of physics they are focusing on electromagnetism 41% questions have been asked till the date. Then uh, optics is one more topic or area where you can focus. So they have been asked 11.5% questions till the date. Then thermodynamics 4% questions, 4 questions they have been asked. So likewise, uh, this is for physics. Now, I, if I'm talking about chemistry, uh, in chemistry, they are more, mainly focusing on physical chemistry. 34.5% questions till the date have been asked from physical chemistry. Organic chemistry, 42.5% questions have been uh, asked from this. And inorganic chemistry, 38% questions they had asked. So this was the... Uh, topic wise or I can say these were the uh, subject wise analysis from 2015 to 2019. I hope this video will be helpful for you and if you have any further doubts write in comment box I will try to sort out your doubts. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Suppose you want to see the VIT Girls Hostel, I will add a link for that particular video. Also mess food and in the campus how the day arrangement uh, made and all I will add those links here as well. So thank you so much for watching this video.